transfer portal recap. All right. So Ryan, the way we're going to do this, uh, let's just go down. Um, our, I, I made a list. I assume you have at least a rough list of players. Let's start with some impact departures. We'll go back and forth. Uh, either players who, uh, well, I guess not either players who departed from big 10 teams. Who do you think are, is going to make the biggest impact that they will no longer be playing for big 10 next year or big 10 team next year or whatever team they left. I you guess start they JR. So, go for, you go I'll go for first it. and then you go, we'll go yep. one by one until we're out of names. How about that? Okay. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right. So I have four names. My first one, Cam Christie. I think that sucks for Minnesota. I think that he was going to be a huge part of what they could do. I think he's probably going to the NBA. He could come back if he doesn't get a good enough grade and he, you know, doesn't make it high enough. But uh, but I think that really, really stinks for them. I think that Minnesota uh, losing Elijah Hawkins, that is huge as well. But at the end of the day, Cam Hey, hey, I thought we were going back and forth. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm okay. saying that they lost Elijah Hawkins too, but I'm saying my pick for the okay. bigger one is Cam Christie because he he was the most talented player on that team. Dawson yes. Garcia, best score, but in my opinion, Cam Christie. Only reason I say that, that, I didn't have a Elijah Hawkins, but I he's he can be one that we can use. Okay. How about you go Chucky, ahead? You're yours now. Chucky Hepburn. Oh. He's he's the one he's the engine that made Wisconsin go. Let's just be honest. Like, I was higher on Chucky than other people were, so I agree with that. Yeah, like you can think about this, you guys. When Chucky, how often did Chucky Hepburn was? How often was Chucky in the game? All game. All game. Okay, so um, yeah, he was uh, their heart and soul, honestly, and that's and it's going to be tough because you see, uh, you see. They're going after several. Wisconsin doesn't just hit the portal like that. Look, they got Tanji announced. You see, they got Xavier Amos from Northern Illinois. They got another kid before that. Like they're getting three and four transfer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like this is going to be a whole new looking Wisconsin team too, and that's not that's not Greg Gardish. Yeah. Stephen Crowell is going to have to anchor the inside there and really uh, be a staple for them. But uh, all right, I'll go with the other Wisconsin guy, Ryan. I'll go with AJ Store. I think uh, you know it's good that Max Klesman stuck around, but at the end of the day, AJ Store was just such an offensive powerhouse for them that them losing AJ Store, I think, is going to really, really hurt them next year. I don't know if you know Wisconsin people predicted that to happen during the season. I definitely didn't see it coming, and then I looked into it, and I was like, wow, I should have seen this coming with how much he switched around schools and high schools and stuff like that. Uh, makes his way over to Kansas. I think there's a reason why he's at Kansas, because he's a Kansas-level player, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, it's just it, it's a huge blow for Wisconsin. I don't think we're going to see, see the same Wisconsin offense this year uh, that we saw last year, and that's going to hurt them. Uh, your next one, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, I think it's true now. I, I didn't want to put him at second, but if you think about it, he led the Big Ten in assists, Elijah Hawkins in Minnesota. Think about it. You know, you led the Big Ten in assists, okay? So I'm sticking with one of the only guys that averaged over seven assists on the season uh, in the nation. Yeah. So like, okay, I'm talking about the heart and soul of a Chucky Hepburn, but who made Minnesota dangerous? You know, who was feeding those guys? It was Elijah Hawkins, you know? So Minnesota, those are two huge blows with Cam Christie and and Elijah Hawkins leaving. But my first two were, were, were point guards and my final two will not be, but I think that that's, two huge blows and you can't really argue either one in my opinion because the success minute Wisconsin's had has been directly correlated with Chucky Hepburn and Minnesota the success that this year upcoming was going to be directly correlating with what Elijah Hawkins did you know so that's my that's my second one I agree uh my third one is Cliff Amorier. uh could you imagine Rutgers next year with Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper oh, and Cliff Amor- I mean man the defense that Cliff Amorier could create for that team uh and the way they could be able to get, able to get out and transition you turn Cliff Amorier into an outlet passer that you need with his rebounding and everything else um yeah that uh uh, that would be really, really tricky. So uh, Cliff Amorier, I think, was a huge loss for them. I wish he would have. I mean, we were talking in the season, like, he might graduate, he might move on, he might come back. And uh, we didn't even think about the transfer portal because we just thought this is a Rutgers lifer guy. But looks like he's going to move on and get paid. He had a, 
it, it seemed like everybody knew where he was going to go when he first left, but now uh, he's still not committed anywhere. Kind of leaning maybe a little bit St. John's there for a little bit, and now it's kind of being rumored a couple other places. I think St. John's might still be in the mix, but um, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you where Cliff Moria is going, and at the end of the day, I just think it stinks for Rutgers because uh, I think he would have been a really good piece for them to have to be a much better team next year. Yeah, um, and I think, you know, I was going to say I I might stick. I, I might stick for, with point guard one more because I think what he could have been with Dusty May. How about Doug McDaniel? Yeah. Yeah, you know. I, I struggle let's just, with Doug. No, I struggle with Doug, but you go ahead. I, yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, too, because I think with an actual coach, okay, <laughs> a real coach. He, th- I think he could have been something because, you know, they were a completely different team with Doug McDaniel. You know what I mean? I right. think, um, I think that, you know, he really was a could be a quality guard when his head was on. I think, obviously, grade wise, he needed to to get his his grades going. But I think, um, because uh, I know they're just one quality guard away from, I think people probably picking them to win the big 10, obviously that dusty may has done a great job, but yeah, they got um, the front court. And here's the thing. I won't, I was going to say Terrace Reed, but then I thought, because Terrace Reed to me is the dude I would take every day of the week. You got Vlad golden and you got Danny Wolf. So, I mean, can I really say Terrace Reed? That's why I want you guys to know. I didn't say him right. because I was going to make him my third guy because he's, he's going to tear it up at UConn, by the way. Like, think about that. He just went to UConn, okay? Does that tell you how talented the guy is? I think Danny Hurley sees something. I think you might want to open your eyes a little bit. Yeah, if Danny Hurley takes a guy, uh, you know that, oh, maybe we didn't get the most out of this guy. Um, Yeah, I think Doug McDaniel, um, I struggle with him because he did just make some boneheaded plays where it was like, dude, you don't have to win the game on your own, but you're exactly right. If he had better coaching, maybe maybe he wouldn't be making those decisions. Uh, My fourth guy, last guy, uh, and then... Began, uh, Jay Began puts a good comment in there. Tony Perkins, he's another one that, um, you know, would be a good one to add, but another guy that I think is going to be really, really difficult for the team to lose this year is Mason Gillis leaving Purdue. I know that some people are acting oh, like maybe it's not one, the man. biggest deal in the world, but. I tell you, Mason Gillis, he, he's a culture piece there and I'm a culture guy, you know, sue me. I believe in culture, especially in college basketball, but, uh, he's a culture guy there. And I really think that if you would have had him at the four, even coming off the bench, uh, I think he really could have helped Trey Kaufman Wren, uh, in the front court there this next year. Uh, he could even play three for you, which you're losing your four guy to be the five and you're losing your three guy to graduation. Uh, I think that those three and four spots are important and Mason Gillis could have could have really helped out there so i think he's gonna be a big departure loss you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna give us a i'm gonna give you a name from a co- incoming big 10 team what do you say that huh yeah let's do additions i think it's Cor- is it Cor- i think it's corin jones left washington yeah yeah, yeah. uh he was gonna be their best player so uh i think he i think he went to louisville we'll, we'll get that down but um that dude was going to be their best player and coming team. And you got a new coach and you know, they were, they're going the, the high school route now. So Jace Butler decommitted from, from Illinois to go play there because I think he knows he's going to start or play a lot because you think about this, they, they're losing a guy to the draft. I think Paul McKay, he's run out of eligibility, you know, as wild as it was for him to go to, from Rutgers to Washington. Um, but yeah, so I think Corin, I believe it's Jones, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, but he was a hot commodity that Louisville went after and threw a lot of money at. So he would have started for Washington this coming year. Uh, and the new schedule's out, which is fun. So uh, I don't know if you saw your schedule or not, but it looks like Illinois is going to go to Washington and Oregon, and then the, U, the L.A. schools are coming to Champaign. Wow, that'll be fun. Yep. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw the schedule. Um, didn't have enough time to look at it to put it in the, uh, <clears throat> in the discussion tonight. So if you're looking for the schedule discussion, I apologize. Just didn't have enough time for it today. But, uh, with the portal ending tonight, I thought it was fun to talk about this. All right. Let's give, uh, one addition guy each, our best addition, uh, for Big Ten teams, and then we'll move on. How does that sound, Ryan? All right, you go. You, I'm, right. you, I'm not. I didn't write a list. So these are all off all right. memory, muscle memory. Yeah. So you give me yours, and then I'll name who I think the best addition is. I'm gonna be a homer, and I'm gonna say Aaron Bradshaw for Ohio State. I think that losing oh. Felix Akpara was a uh, was a big blow, but I think that uh, if you can get the pick and roll game with Bruce Thornton going with Aaron Bradshaw on him, I think that Aaron Bradshaw is gonna be a piece. I think that he can pick and pop, or he can pick and roll, either one. And I think it's gonna be a good piece for the Ohio State offense. So. For me, I'm going to go Homer. I'm going to say Aaron Bradshaw. Michi Johnson is up there as well, but I'm really, really excited. I'm surprised you didn't. But I'm surprised you didn't say Michi Johnson. Yeah, that's good. Well, we already have a good guard in Bruce Thornton. So, I, you know, not that I'm saying we don't need another good guard, but I feel like the front court after Felix Akpara left is is lacking a little bit. And so Aaron Bradshaw fills that for me. Yeah, you know. I'm going to give you a homer, and then I'm going to think of another maybe. But I, I think Kylan Boswell for Illinois. Yeah. I think Kylan Boswell for Illinois can be a huge impact mm-hmm. difference maker. I mean, here's the thing. Damask did a great job as the point guard, but he really wasn't a point guard. He was, you know, a two guy that was able to use his body and, and uh, you know, find open guys and, and kind of the post mid-range type of situation. But I think – uh kylan boswell not only can shoot near 40 percent from three but he's a really good assist guy he's very unselfish and i think uh he's ready to take his game to the next level um yeah i would say amar Bala from yeah. arizona going to indiana is going to really help that front court out with you know having all those Kalel where yeah like filling in there with yeah filling in there uh, indiana's done a great job in the portal you know, Vlad Golden at Michigan is going to be great. I think, you know, the, 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 to go down the list of all the guys that Dusty May is bringing in there is uh, pretty impressive. So uh, I just, just didn't want to give a homer pick, but, you know. No, I get it. Uh, a couple more, Kobe Johnson and uh, Frankie Fiddler, two more. I won't go into depth with them, but do want to mention their names because they were two more that I had. Uh, any names you want to mention really fast, Ryan? You don't have to go into depth, but any more names you were thinking about before we move on? Um, you talking about who could make a? You talking about make an impact? Yeah, yeah. Additional. Um, well, let's see here. For um, I'm thinking if you about don't have a name. It's fine. I just want to give you a chance if you did. No, I hear you. Did did Purdue? Who did Purdue add? Did they add anybody? I don't think they've added anybody yet. If they have, I missed it. I'll check really fast. But yeah, um, like you haven't heard huge splashes. Like I know Maryland added one or two guys, but oh. Uh, yeah, no, they didn't. They added one or two guys. Yeah, but nothing right. too extravagant. Football. Northwestern. Yeah, I can't. I can't recall anybody that Purdue has added that was a big splash or anything. Nebraska but, added Gavin Griffiths from Rutger, Rutgers. <laughs> oh yeah, and Connor Asijian too. Yes, and Connor Asijian. That's right. They lost Asijian too. So I'm talking about that guard. The the guard uh, culture is is gone. I think, in my opinion. So yeah. Yeah, Purdue, they just lost uh, Gillis and Morton. They haven't added anybody. So, uh, okay. I don't can't remember if first left or not, but 24 7 doesn't say he did. But I would be shocked if he didn't, though. He man. barely played. So, yeah. 